It is that time of year again. The Great American Foodie Fest is happening today through Sunday at Craig Ranch Regional Park. You can bring your own fork because they've got dozens of food vendors to choose from. Yes, that's right. So whether you're <laughs> looking to enjoy delicious Mexican mm. food like what we have right here or a variety of other options, you are covered. We've got Noel Casimiro here with Great American Foodie Fest. He is the president, folks, and he's joining us along with Victor Gonzalez of Vitos Tacos. Welcome, hey, guys. Hey, welcome in. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah, so, so Noel, tell us, like, just describe what the Foodie Fest is going to be all about. So the Great American Foodie Fest is so unique because it encompasses so many different food vendors and food trucks, not just locally, from all over the country, that have been featured on the Food Network, Cooking Channel, Travel Channel. So it's all the best seats that people see on TV, all brought to one local destination. That's a Great American Foodie Fest. And we also feature carnival rides, uh, beer gardens, live entertainment, just a lot of fun for the family. Noel, we love having you on the show. We kind of look forward to it. The festival's happening now twice a year. Yeah. You started this 11 years ago in town and it's just grown. Like yeah. this is massive. So if you love food, if you love food trucks, this is the place to go. Vito, we are so happy to have you in to highlight these Thank amazing, amazing me. dishes. Uh, let's talk about Vito's tacos mm. and so what you're doing. <clears throat> what we have here is gonna be our signature dish. This is gonna be our queso taco. This is what we sell the most out of. This is um, what we just pump out every single day. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be our slow cooked beef. Ooh. It takes about six hours to cook, 17 different spices. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's gonna be topped with onion cilantro, uh, inside a little mozzarella cheese, on the side some lime and our famous green salsa, Ooh. and our consomme on the side as well to dip it in. Yes. Mm. Okay, Victor, can we talk this? Yeah, yes. so this is something very unique and very special okay. that I came up with. This is gonna be our <laughs> beer ramen. So traditionally, wow. everyone does it with cup of noodles. We do something very differently. We use real udon Japanese noodles. They're very thick noodles. It changes the whole dynamic of the whole dish. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, I'm getting a lot of beef. No, you you got to eat down <laughs> to get those oh, noodles. Okay. You have to really oh. go in here, you know? Like, oh, there it yeah. is. Look at that. Oh, man, really that looks amazing. That looks wow. delicious. So very delicious mm. dish. One of our biggest sellers that we have. Yeah. Um, that's why we take it to the foodie fest as well um, with also our burrito mm. as well and our queso tacos can i try oh. it yeah yeah for okay. sure oh my gosh. 100%. Like oh, you get, so you get in there mm -hmm. um so victor we were just talking about earlier uh, that birria is actually originally made with goat meat we were talking Correct. about right yes and so mm -hmm. you guys take like a spin mm -hmm. on and of what people really love which is that beef and chicken beef 100 percent. It's, it's just very hard to educate okay. people on, on like goat and like trying to like do goat and plus it's very time consuming and a little hard so the best way to do it, and with a lot of flavor, is beef. And we did something very different as well. So we added chicken beef here as well. Not wow. a lot of people do that. Okay, the one okay. I just tried though, can right. I can I test it? I don't know how yeah, you did this without yeah. making a mess. This, this is really has like a delicious beef stew flavor. So yeah. the first thing I experienced was the beef. Mm. Then the noodles are like giant clouds, like yeah. they're actually kind of oversized noodles. Then I got hit with multiple spices. Please help me, because I tasted cilantro, but I tasted other things. Oh yeah, so that's gonna be all the peppers, all the spices that we put into it. 17 different spices into our- Wow. 17 different spices oh, into our- Our beef good, stew. Right? Yeah, I that, made a whole mess. Mm, I mean, we should've good. brought napkins. That takes six hours is, uh, to cook. Mess is good. <laughs> and then this is gonna be the beef broth. This is where everything is cooked mm, in. Okay. And once it's done, this is what comes out. And this is gonna be the very concentrated beef broth. That's all those flavors, everything packed in together. Mm. Usually everyone just dips in, like dips their taco oh, yeah. in there with yeah. the green salsa. Yeah. The red's a, very spicy, but I mean, a lot of people love mm. spice. It's up, it's up to you, but everyone loves that green salsa. The green I, some about like green. You have to try that one though, it's very different. We have a very great, like different green salsa. That one's avocado base, cilantro, mm -hmm. onions. It looks creamier it, it, yeah, too it's, it's, than like a yeah, standard like salsa verde. 100%. Yeah. Listen, folks, I could talk about food all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, thank you. This is one of the highlights of our week. But, Noelle, um, where can people get tickets? The festival starts today, three days, and remind us uh, where this is taking place. Yes, it starts today at 5 p.m., and they can go to greatamericanfoodiefest.com to get tickets. Okay, Wonderful. that makes it easy. Can you buy them at the door also? Can you just show up or not so much? You, you can buy them at the door, mm -hmm. but they're $10. You can get them right now online and get them at a discount for sure. Okay. Wonderful. Victor, I am curious though, is this your most popular? This is like the like what people come to you guys for? 100%. Yeah? Actually, our fries, but... Okay. But, <gasps> really? but, but, but hold on. It's, it's, you held out on but, the fries, man? But at Foodie Fest, we're so busy mm -hmm. that we can't produce fries. Okay. Like, gotcha. we have huge lines, so we just do yeah. things that make people 
So, go Victor, fast. let me suggest if people want to try the fries, they could go to either of the two locations. Correct. Vito's yes. Tacos. You also Correct. have four food trucks. So, look for them. Noel, thank you for introducing us to him. Oh, well, born and raised here, and I travel everywhere to get those tacos. I love it. Hey, thank for you. more information and to buy tickets, guys, you want to go. This is a foodie person's dream.